Hello everybody, this is going to be a super short video and it's just going to be going through uh, the basics of how to create a function which draws ASCII art. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw some of these uh, Pokemon characters and I'm going to show you that you don't need to be writing print and doing it line by line if you're copy and pasting it in from websites. We can, draw, uh, we can create a quick function here which will actually draw any of these. So what you want to do is, if you're maybe you're going to like ASCII art archive or something like that, instead of copying and pasting these actually just straight into your Python code, what we want to be doing is we want to copy and paste them into a uh, text files, so Notepad files or text edit if you are using um, if you're using Mac. So if you've uh, once you've done that, just save them as the as the name of the character, and then make sure they're saved in the same folder that you're going to be uh, running your code from. Now it's pretty like this is a really simple function to use, and um, once you've learned it, you can add it to any of your text adventures, and it's going to make actually displaying ASCII code so much quicker and so much more simple. So we're just going to define a new function, and it's going to be called draw uh, ASCII. And it's going to take um, a file name. So um, my function takes a file name in order to run, and all it does is it does file equal open. And what we do is we open the a file name plus dot txt, and we want to open it in read mode. So whatever file name is passed to this function here, we re, uh, we open up that file name, so we pass that string here, um, add .txt to it, so whatever file you've got, as long as you can spell the file name, you can put it into here. And then we want to do um, image equals file.read, and then we just print the image. And obviously once we're done, we want to close that file as well. And it's as simple as that. So now, um, in order to actually make this run, what I can do is at the moment I've got three images stored in here. All I need to do is call the function, so it's uh, draw ASCII, and then inside the brackets, and I make sure this is in speech marks as well, I write down the, uh, the name of the file that I want to open. So let's try a couple here and just show you that it works with different files. So we've got that title there as well. So um, so instead of me doing um, printing it line by line and having it all in here, I don't know if you've looked at some of the previous code that we've done, that's how we've done it previously. This little function will actually take anything and just draw it for us like that. So let's run it and let's see if it's gonna work. So there we go. Um, Painless. I didn't have to do it line by line. I didn't have to line it all up. If there was an issue with it, um, you know, the, the, the function was uh, already sorted, ready to go. So one other thing I just wanted to show you really quickly was um, one of the things that uh, we, we're working on here at the moment is actually making kind of like a, a randomly generated kind of Pokemon style game using ASCII characters. So in order to do that, I want to maybe select a uh, Pokemon at random. So here I've saved these files with uh, just numbers. So instead of actually doing them as uh, uh, the titles in here, so the actual uh, file names in here, what I could do is I can actually, before I do anything, I'm going to import random, and I can select one of these three images at random. If I do image equals random dot rand int and choose a number between one and three so one two or three um, then I can use that number so at the moment it'll be a string uh, it'll be an integer but what I can do is I can just do draw ASCII and I would do str So there we go, so that's actually, I'll just do that again. So what I did there was, I've just taken that um, image, which uh, is the number I've generated here, get rid of these two here for a second so you can see it running. It selects a number between one and three, which links up with these three files here, and then I ca uh, cast it into a string, 
and then I just place that whole thing into my draw ASCII like I would have done any of the rest of them. So if I run this, it will just generate me a random character. So it's done uh, that Charmander. Let's see if it does a different one. So there we go, it's different. It should be different every time. I wonder if we can get the last one. So let's try that again. So that oh, straight away, there we go. So it helps if um, you've actually got that image saved in here. So I actually just realized that I'd overwritten and I had two sorts of Bulbasaur. So there we go. So that's how we draw a little, that's how we create a little uh, ASCII uh, art reader. Um, so you can add this into any of your text adventures and you can use um, all the ASCII art archives that are out there. And um, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you get some use out of it.